How many times have you sat on your couch fantasizing about what your potential future could look like and imagining yourself as the main character of your life? This fantasy probably looks different for everybody. For some, they would imagine themselves with a nice body, having more than enough money than they need, hopping between different parties in the hills of Los Angeles. For others, they might see themselves living in the woods hundreds of miles away from any sort of civilization living off of their own land. Or if you're like me, you might picture yourself in a tiny bar in Japan down one of the many alleyways that reside there speaking fluent Japanese while you clink your sake with some natives you just met. In that moment of fantasizing, you start to feel the rush of emotions from this ideal scenario, almost as if the future is stretching out its hand to your consciousness for a brief taste of what it would actually be like if you were there. When you finally come back to your present senses, you say to yourself, all right, let's do this. This is it. It's time to finally start working towards my future. Several seconds later, you pull out your phone and get sucked back into whatever mindless scrolling that you were doing. Why does this happen to the majority of us? We know what we want, and we maybe even know that we're capable of getting there, but we just can't seem to muster up any sort of strength to actually take action. On top of that, where would one even start to get to that point? It seems like there's an infinite amount of resources, options, and career paths that we could take that could potentially help us get there, so which one do we know to choose? These are all very good questions to have, and I'm glad you're asking them. But if you find yourself continuously asking these questions day in and day out, it's only contributing to the problem. Today, I want to give you some tips on how you can start to feel like what's been coined the main character of your life. This term has understandably gotten a bit of backlash on the internet because you're trying to romanticize your life and separate yourself from from actual reality while simultaneously putting yourself above others in a way. Like other people in your life are just side characters to your story. And if you think about it that way, I agree that it can be a very toxic mindset because I don't think anyone is above anyone else. The way I see it and what I think is the healthy way to go about it is that being the main character of your life is just consistently acting upon what you want to do. It means you are in control of your life and you feel like you're in control of what happens next in your story. So let's get back to the question where do I even start or rather how do I start two words just start. Once you start, everything's going to start falling into place for you and you can figure out how to get to that fantasy life more as you go. That being said, a lot of very successful people suggest and I suggest that you work your way back from your end goal. So whatever that fantasy looked like in your head, you first want to start off at the future and then work your way back as to the points in your life that it would take to get there, the type of work that it would take to get there. And you focus on only the next task you need to complete to get there one task at a time. When I wanted to start uploading YouTube videos, there was zero hesitation, even though I had no previous knowledge on how to shoot and edit videos. And that's why I'm sitting here today with a pretty big channel, because I just started. People overcomplicate the beginning of their main character's journey so much, I see it all the time. When I had the idea to create YouTube videos, I could have been stuck in the questioning stage for eternity, but all it took was a few Google searches and YouTube videos to find out the best camera for only a couple hundred dollars, the best lavalier mics for around $20, and the editing software pretty much every YouTuber uses, Adobe Premiere Pro. Without second guessing it, I bought the camera, I bought the mic, and I downloaded a pirated version of Adobe Premiere Pro, but if there are any Adobe employees watching right now, I swear to God I pay monthly for this now. I'm clean, I'm innocent. Some of my most commonly asked questions start with how. How do I edit YouTube videos? How do I learn to record this way? And my answer is simple. You want to learn how to edit? Edit. You want to learn how to record YouTube videos? Record YouTube videos. If you want something bad enough and you genuinely enjoy the work, you will naturally improve over time so long as you are actually doing the thing more than you're consuming information about the thing. What I now try to apply to my life when working, but really in terms of everything, is the 80-20 rule. I've talked about why everybody should be a lifelong learner in a previous video, and that is why I think it's still necessary to consume as well as create, but consumption of your craft, of information, of learning about your craft should take up 20% of your time and actually doing your craft should take up 80% of your time. Oftentimes we think that the answer we're looking for to become better at we do or to start what we do lies in information that someone else has already put out. We think that maybe if we just watch one more self-help video or tutorial, we'll finally get our answer. But I found that most of the time it comes from within yourself 
when you're doing the work. And the way it is brought out of you is by doing the work consistently over a long period of time and showing up every single day or almost every single day. When you first start out at your craft trying to get to that high main character stage in your life, it's not going to be pretty. In fact, you'll probably be pretty shit. But what good is a story without the developing character arcs that come before the main character turns their dreams into reality? This is what most people watching my channel need to understand. And I say most people because I believe that the majority of people that watch me are here because they're seeking some sort of guidance. They need help in some way. You are in the dopest character arc right now. This is going to be the arc that people are most interested in hearing about later down the line in your life. How you manage to transition from down bad to up good. This is what makes your story interesting and worth reading. It's what makes getting to that fantasy in your head worth it. I'm not even gonna lie, I sometimes catch myself fantasizing about before I even had a couple thousand subscribers when I was doing everything I possibly could to make it on social media. Like looking back on that, I love that stage of my life in that small apartment working so goddamn hard. I almost miss that feeling, that hunger that I had back then when I was barely making any money money at all to even pay rent and I was desperately trying to make something happen and I might have been even more hungry back then but I don't like to think of it like that I think I'm still hungry for bigger goals now and really the only thing that separates you from becoming the main character of your life and living out your defined goals and aspirations is one word resistance. I had first heard about this concept from one of the only self-help books that I think is worth reading over and over again, which is The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. In it, he describes resistance as such. Resistance cannot be seen, touched, heard, or smelled, but it can be felt. We experience it as an energy field radiating from a work-in potential. It's a repelling force. It's negative. Its aim is to shove us away, distract us, and prevent us from doing our work. And we all experience resistance. There's nothing special about your resistance. I still feel as much resistance as you do. But through this book and through my trials and tribulations, I learned how to conquer over resistance. Pressfield also goes on to explain how to distinguish professionals from amateurs, or for the sake of this video, main characters from side characters. The amateur plays for fun. One. The professional plays for keeps. To the amateur, the game is his avocation. To the pro, it's his vocation. The amateur plays part-time, the professional full-time. The only difference between people who are able to say that they became the main character of their life and those that didn't is that the main character showed up more times and more often than the side characters. Main characters show up no matter what, and they do the work especially when it scares them or they have self-doubts. What you think at first is that in order to start and keep going, you must overcome the fear or the doubt you are experiencing. But what I've realized in the years that I've now been living this way is that the fear cannot be overcome. I am always going to have some sort of dread or self-doubt. And fear or dread or doubt of doing the daily work that I need to in order to become the main character is the exact reason that I know that this job is worth doing. If you didn't love the project that is terrifying you, you wouldn't feel anything. The opposite of love isn't hate, it's indifference. And this has absolutely 100% always been the case with me making these videos. Every time I sit down to write my next script or edit my next video, I experience loads of resistance in the forms of media, thoughts, and dread. It actually happened even heavier than usual with the previous video that I just posted. Every part of me was telling me to check my phone or just maybe finish it tomorrow or edit this way because it wasn't looking that good. But I just showed up and I kept doing the work and that video came out as one of my favorite videos to date. After hearing this, you might think that I'm trying to promote hustle culture and 12 hour workdays, but that's really not the case at all. Steven Pressfield even highlights the importance of not over identifying with your job and having a sense of humor about it in his book. I'm just telling you that if you wanna live out those main character fantasies, you have to put in the work of a main character. Now, once you start to sit down and work on something daily, even if it's just for an hour or two a 
day, you're gonna start to notice something. I can't really explain why this is, and Stephen Pressfield even talks about it a little bit, but the universe is gonna start to aid you in reaching that goal. And the reason that most people fail to get to the main character stage of their life is that they're not patient enough to get to that point where they start to notice this. For me, I didn't really start to feel this until about one or two years into my creative work, although I'm sure that it was happening previous to this behind the scenes without me noticing. I saw no progress for quite a while on both Instagram and YouTube. You guys can check my YouTube analytics on Social Blade. I got like no views or subscribers for the first three years I was on YouTube. I had serious doubts less than one year in and I thought about quitting, but I just decided to push past resistance. And eventually opportunity after opportunity to grow and connect with others that are bigger in my field started to present themselves to me. I had big YouTubers following me and reaching out to me. I had them on my podcast. I met them in real life. It's like after I did the same work over and over again so many times, the universe was like, oh, shit, you're really serious about this, then I'm gonna help you a little bit here. To live out your dreams, the world that we live in requires you to be professional about your dream job. The main character is the one who, even after everyone and everything telling them not to do the thing that they really wanted to do, did it anyways. All right, enough listening to my word porn because that's really what this is. Enough watching self-help video after self-help video. Just start, show up, and show up every single day and watch how everything starts to eventually work in your favor and helps you gravitate to that future dream. I want to thank the patrons on this channel on Patreon. This is a platform I'm putting out exclusive videos and podcasts you can't find anywhere else, not on YouTube, not on Instagram, anywhere. If you want to check that platform out, the first link is in the description, patreon.com slash Cole Hastings. Uh, also, please go pick up that book because it's incredible and will get you to actually start doing your work needed to get to that fantasy life. I'm probably going to have it pinned in the comments or in the description or both. Just go down below the video and thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day or night.